Testing, testing. Can everyone hear this? Is there an echo or can you hear me loud and clear? Welcome back everybody. Mayor Crono back in the house. How's everyone doing today? Oh, I need to move the chat box. I forgot to move that. That's from my um, KKND um, counterpart. Um, he, he likes to move the chat box there. So let me um, put it up here so you can see yourselves talking. And uh, I'm gonna squish it a little bit. Sorry for the lack of music. I'll bring it back in a second. I really need to redesign my overlays, but you guys can see this, right? <laughs> All right. So uh, hold on a second. I shall be right back. All right, I have returned. Okay, let's start. So, we uh, made the city of Chronotica in the last game, and we look forward to now playing the uh, upgraded version in SimCity 4. I'm gonna have to lower the volume a little bit. Please do let me know if you can hear my voice. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the cheers. I really, really appreciate it. Wow. Dormama, thank you so much for the follow as well. All right. Let's begin. Let's do this. Uh, let's see. I'm hoping... I'm wondering if I can change the size of the window. No, nope, I cannot. Which is fine. I guess I can... Yeah, I can probably have some delayed reactions, but we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, we're not going to do the tutorial because I have experience with this. Um, we're going to pick a patch of land and we're going to um, basically uh, build on top of it. Uh, you can pick the size, but I do not want to build an island. Let me see. I want to do more like... Okay, this one actually looks good. Yeah. Remember how excited I was for windmills in the last game? If you guys recall. <laughs> Patrick remembers. I wonder if he's in the chat. Patrick, are you there? <laughs> All right. Let's take it. Start new city. Are you going to let me... Oh, hold on a second. Report a city from another region, one that you may have... De no. Ah, okay. No, it doesn't... Sadly, it, it is not a direct sequel... It, it doesn't um, load uh, cities from previous games. It looks like it loads only from downloaded ones for the same game. And deletes the city. Okay. All right. We can start a new city. My only issue is the name. I'm really worried about the name. All right. Let's give it a shot. Loading new city. I need to see if we can... Uh, there it is. City name. Okay. So we can definitely change the name. Absolutely. We can do stuff to this. Wow, look at that. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Oh, this is a great patch of land. Look at this. Wow, glorious 3D, everybody. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, time is actually moving. We gotta pause this. Okay, wow, the game just pretty much throws you and like you land running <laughs> okay how do we change the city name we need to change the city name uh let's see is it this no nope, that's not it um graphic options no we're good on the graphics you guys can see clearly right 
You can see clearly and you can hear my voice clearly, correct? And I'm hoping you can hear the game as well. Okay, save the city. Maybe, maybe if we save it, it'll let us pick a name? Oh no! Okay, wrong name. Alright, where else? Uh, exit to region? Quit? No, we, we like this. We like this spot. Okay, so is it here? Is it mayor options? No, we don't want to switch to mayor mode. We need to pick the city name. How do you pick the city name in this version? Huh, this is interesting. Um, God mode. Click here to expand the God toolbar, which is probably what we're in right now. Yeah, that's what we're in right now. So it looks like it's a very, very, like, natural... We're going to be building on, on a lot of natural ground. My only issue is whether or not this is flat enough. Like, this will be our windmill area, and definitely we're going to use this for windmills. Although, if we're starting... I don't know what year we're starting from. Is it the 1900s? I think it's the 1900s. And we're going back in time, just like in the ba in the previous game. We made it to the year 2000 with 100,000 um, in population, and those are going to be my win conditions. So we're going to repeat that again for this game. Let's do that again here. My only issue is just the city name. Do I do that in mayor mode? I have a feeling I named the city in mayor mode. I don't know if I was supposed to name it in... Um, um, in uh, the region. You will have an opportunity to save your current city before returning to the region. Yeah, but we want to change the name. How come it's not letting us do that? Let's see. If we switch to... Oh, there it is. It was mayor mode. Okay, I was too scared. <laughs> All right, let's begin. Let's do this. All right. So it's going to be Mayor Chrono. And just like last time, it's Chronotica. Yeah. Let's do this thing. All right. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, absolutely. Let's do this. My only issue is whether or not the land is flat enough for roads and zoning. I'm hoping it is. Like, I'm hoping this game has, like, gradient, um, land. So that way, the slightest bumps don't really affect your construction. Like, you need to have giant hills to stop you from being able to, um, establish a flat spot. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. And begin! Alright! Here we go! Okay, let's break ground! Alright, what's a good spot? Aw, oh, check out the fireworks! Oh my god, I love this so much! We're after a good start, everybody. If you remember, I was really crazy about the um, Thanksgiving parades in the last game. Be sure to check out our clips, by the way. They're both on Twitch, in unedited versions, as well as on social media everywhere. In the edited um, version. Now I understand I've been away for a while so I can see that my viewership took a little hit but I am so happy you guys are back again. Thank you so much for making it to the stream. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. All right, Gormama, if you're there we're gonna about to start right now. Let's see. I'm hoping the flooring is not bad. We gotta break ground. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay, those trees look pretty good. Um, and we're gonna need a connection and some zoning. So let's go ahead and start with the connection. Let's go ahead and build a small town. We start with a little town. All right, we have our budget. Where's our, oh, 500,000 simoleons. That's 10 times what we started with in the last game. I think you started with 50,000 in the last one. Oh man, you can see the construction. It looks glorious, yeah. They really made this game with love. Maxis, I believe, is now part of EA. I believe they made this game after the EA buyout. SimCity 3000, I think, was the last game before EA bought them out. So, budget-wise, it looks like we're pretty good. Let's see. Oh, getting started tutorial. Yeah, sure. All right, let's do another one to a regular city. Making money tutorial. Oh my god, we're in the middle of making... We're in the middle of tutorial cities. Haha! <laughs> So it looks like our real connections are going to be all the way here and in the south. Now, since we have ocean water, let's go ahead and actually query um, what kind of water it is. This is not fresh water. I believe this is ocean water. Where is our query button? Also, I love the new um, polling system here. This is great. Uh, let's see. This is for emergency tools. Where is our query button? Oh, there it is. 
That should be our query. And then what's the other one? Route query. Okay, cool. So this thing lets you measure your roads and traffic. All right, is this ocean water? Come on. Oh, it doesn't let you, um, okay, it does not let you do that. All right, uh, how do you close it? I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's a way to close it. I guess it was there the whole time. Yeah, okay. It's not letting me query the water. Can I query anything else? Yeah, I can query stuff. Yeah, because I didn't put any zoning yet. I'm supposed to be going really slow here. Let's go ahead and start with zoning, our favorite thing. And we're going to need power and water, as usual. But let's go ahead and start with zoning. Let's start with low. Oh, wow. Our, our budget is going to be really good for this. Like, we'll definitely have an easier time succeeding on this game. Let's go ahead with, um... Where's our RCI? Yeah, we need heavy zoning. All right, let's start with... Oh my god, it builds the roads for you. Oh man, I forgot. It builds the roads for you, so that's great. That's excellent. All right, let's go ahead and... Um, okay, it's asking for power, so let's go ahead. Let's see what our power options are. Now, we are in the year... Uh, oh my god, it even measures the time of day. That's beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and see what our electricity is. Yes, we start off with windmills. I think this is the year 2000. It's So in other words, it might be a sequel to the last game. That's great. But yeah, it looks like some things are not going to uh, unlock unless... Um, oh, wow. This time they're doing uh, limitations. Yeah, we're starting with the year 2000. All the technology is available, but... You need conditions, certain conditions to unlock it. I'm going to start planting a little bit of, um, you know, windmills. You know, I really love my windmills. And I don't know. And you know what? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do um, water as well. It's going to be, well, you know what? Let's do the water close to the town. The windmills need to be, um, the windmills need to be uh, connected, obviously. So, I don't want to blow, like, a large chunk of the budget on the windmills. So, I'm going to do a limited amount and then connect it with a long route. With a long erect, uh, uh, um, electric cable. Yep, of course. We know this already. Yep. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a um, connection. Ooh, price-wise. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I forgot. Okay, let's go ahead and... Use our new scroll and build feature. And let's see if we can limit it right here. All right, we got our first connection and we have electricity. So as we built the town from this side, I'm going, yep, there it is. And we started, it begins. It begins anew. Sorry, this ain't Mortal Kombat, anyway. Let's see how... F oh my god, you can zoom way more in this game. I love it. I love it. Usually the games that come out right after EA takes over are, like, really good. Like, they have really great features. And then after that, everything just goes to hell. I'm hoping that the sequels to SimCity and The Sims, I hope to play that as well. I'm hoping that um, they maintain a good quality for a while. Because everybody knows... The EA curse, basically. Okay, so it looks like in terms of roading, we're not going to need to worry about roads when we're zoning because building zones establishes roads for you. It's part of the budget now. It's part of the cost. That's cool. That's really cool. All right, let's see our population. We got construction going. So it looks like um, population-wise, we're doing pretty good. All right. Um, environment and traffic, of course, they're minimal because we don't have that many. That's perfectly fine. Understandable. Okay, let's see. Um, we are now in need of some light industrial. You remember me with the light industrial. I really like my farmlands. Let's see how we're doing with farms. Also, it doesn't look like we have our same advisors from the last game, sadly. I really, really miss them. They're, they were great. All right, let's go with agricultural zone. Okay, so they've changed the um, zoning. Ooh, you need, you need, oh yeah, you need a larger patch of land basically to um, to zone agriculture. There it is. Okay, let's do it here. And it looks like commercial is starting too. Let's go ahead and do some light commercial as well. 
Okay, so it looks like commercial doesn't need a minimum spot of land. But for industrial, it looks like we have agricultural, uh, agricultural medium density industrial, and high density industrial. Okay. All right. So it, I'm glad that they finally have those designations out. Because it was confusing in the last game. Yep. And it looks like their water needs are fully met. So we're off. We got 178 people moving into our little town. And... Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Okay. You can now start doing training missions to check out your um, traffic and stuff. I think in this game, you do training missions to see if um, your routes are good and if your police and um, fire uh, department coverage are good. Like, you can test them out, basically. Which is really cool compared to the last game. Alright, let's see. Yeah, it looks like we're too small to do road missions right now or road tests, so we're going to need to start expanding now. Okay, but it looks like people are coming in from the other cities, even though they're tutorial cities. It looks like they're doing good. Let's see, I think I can do some... Oh, commercial is not needed anymore. We need less commercial now. So, it looks like our plazas and stuff are, are developing pretty good. I love this. Wow. Yeah, this, um, this version of the game is definitely more adaptive. Absolutely. Like, it does not need flat land anymore like it did in the last game. Not that I mind it, to be honest. But we did have some trouble, if you remember, with flattening land um, to, um, to be able to actually build. But in this game, it looks like we'll be able to do it right off the bat. Okay, excellent. All right, let's continue. Okay, let's see. All right. I love how accurate this is. I wonder if residential can work outside. Let's see if we can do... Uh, yeah, it looks like um, heavy residential is in need. And our water, I think, is... Go oh, okay. So it looks like it's a limitation for us. So let's go ahead and do some medium residential on the outskirts. Since those only require, require um, one width so far. And I believe if you do residential... Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, I love it. It's very adaptive. It, it understands. It gets you. Okay. Let's do some heavy density residential. Uh, let's do it here. Hey, Patrick! You made it! Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you appreciate the new interface. Look at this. It's gorgeous. The game started out pretty good. We had some fireworks. I love that. And it looks like for zoning, we can actually um, uh, we can actually build roads automatically now. It's part of the budget. Like, you no longer need to worry about building roads as much as you used to. However, you have minimum land requirements, it seems. So on the outskirts here, because of how thin the strips are, you can only build medium and low-density residential. Great, I'm glad you love it. Thank you so much for lurking. I super appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for making it back to the channel. I know I've been away for a while. Okay, it looks like the training missions are not available yet. And um, the game now has... Um, um, the game now has time zones. It's 10 p.m. Oh my god. It actually shows you, like... Wow. This is, this is gorgeous in glorious 3D. Alright, so our city now is about to break uh, uh, 200 people, but you can tell from the polling, we lack health, education, and safety. So we're lacking police, hospitals, and fire departments. Yeah, this game was built as soon or during the EA takeover of Maxis Studios. So Maxis is the creator and inventor of um, uh, SimCity games, and EA bought them out. The, honestly, not gonna lie, a lot of my favorite sim and RTS games got bought out by EA, except for KKND. KKND was built by uh, Melbourne House, I believe, and they weren't bought out by EA, uh, EA. I wish they did, but it would have cannibalized their Command & Conquer series, so it's understandable. Oh, thank you for the follow! I appreciate it! Let's see who it is. It is... Uh, activity feed... Triangulartus! Triangulartus! Triangle Artress, thank you so much for the follow. I super appreciate it. 
God, I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. All right, let's keep going. It looks like this game is definitely more pop. Ooh, all right, we are lacking road. We are lacking um, transportation. It tells you, and that's why it wasn't built. So let's go ahead and see if we can assist with that. Is it the same as before? And will it affect our electricity? Ah, oh, it broke our electricity. Oh my God, pause, pause, pause. That's dumb. Okay, well, at the very least, I don't have to build an electric connection all the way back. We're using windmills now. We start off with some good tech. I'm gonna just extend it here. So we have to be careful with our power. All right, let's go ahead and play and see. Is the roading um, hopefully helping here? Nope, still, still not there yet. Our city probably needs to get a little bit bigger, which it did. Oh my God. All right, we just, we're, we're about to hit 300 people. That's good. And we're going at a really slow pace, really slow pace. I think we can build something on the spot. Can we build another water tower? I think another water tower would help us. Everything is cheaper in this game. Like they gave us a nice budget. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. We can probably use this budget to reach a million people instead of a hundred thousand. But a hundred thousand is gonna be our minimum in terms of winning this game. So we're gonna see how much fun we're having with it. Ooh, okay, no roads here. So we gotta build roads there. Okay, got it, understood. And, oh, you gotta build your connections manually. Oh my god. Well, come on. I mean, there's a road right next to you here. What are you, what are you doing? How, 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 how are you saying there's no road? What about this section? I don't know. The game is kind of being a little bit wonky, but it's probably because we just started. It's understandable. Anyway, back to how we were before. Okay, let's see. Uh, hopefully this sorts itself out. We can probably build bus stops. You know what? Let's take care of it and build a bus stop right now. Let's see. Does it let you build bus stops? Miscellaneous. Oh, they've divided it now. Okay. Let's do that early this time. Last time we didn't have that. I don't know if buses were invented before cars or after. <laughs> nah, it had to be after. There's no way it was before. All right. Like vehicles in general got diversified much later. Public transportation, basically, as a concept, definitely came after the invention of the car um, in the 1800s, I believe. It's so nice to actually be able to learn about the history of, you know, all aspects of city life. All right, let's take a look at our advisory board. Let's see our advisors. Single bus step has Sims baffled. What? <laughs> Oh, let's build more bus stops. Okay, for a second there, I thought they meant that the bus stop wasn't working. Also, it looks like I should just build a road through all of this. I don't understand. Why Why is it a problem that, um, like, transportation, it says transportation is not doing that well. But considering our budget, we can splurge ourselves a little bit. We can spoil ourselves. It's fine. All right, what if I just surround it? Like, is it still a problem? It seems in terms of sound effects, we still have the same sound effects from before. All right, we still need to build more residential. Let's go ahead and um, start our first, um, uh, how should we put it? Maybe our first um, um, police station, fire department, everything else, since the budget seems to be doing well. Hi, welcome to the channel, JC. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Icy. Hope you enjoy the new soundtrack. I'll be coming to your stream in a little bit, too. I, I don't think I'll be doing a long stream this time. I do need to sleep early. Start of the week and stuff. But um, thank you guys so much for coming in. Welcome back, everyone. All right. Not going to lie, I missed the interface from the last game. Like, graphics-wise, the UI in this game leaves a lot to be desired. Like, color-wise, I loved how colorful the last game was. You guys can easily tell the colors are different in this game. The color aesthetic is different. But in terms of like the quality of life, damn. I love this. Now you can build a police kiosk. Like you have a lot of advancements that weren't available in the last game. You don't have to build a full station anymore. Wow. All right. And let's go ahead and build a fire station. Small fire station. I love it. Oh God, I love it. And you can um, 
Oh man, the coverage is pretty good. I think we just need one. All right, and let's see if we can build a hospital. Those should change the poles a little bit. Oh, no room in jails. Oh, that was fast. I'm not gonna build a jail this fast, so we gotta wait a little bit. Medical clinic, okay, that's basically smaller. That's good, and it also gives us good coverage. That's awesome. I love this. Like, in terms of, I guess, the technology and the, um, the, uh, let's see. We don't have yet all of the, um, uh, gifts yet. But in terms of technology and quality of life, wow, this game is impressive. Like, it's, it's, uh, it's doing really, really well. God, I love this. Also, it's really light on memory. I love retro games because they're so light on memory. Like, you guys can see my motion is actually pl pretty fluid. Like, I'm doing pretty good <laughs> motion-wise. All right. Let's see. Can we do a test? Nope. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, it looks like our city needs to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, before we can do driving tests. Also, some of our roads are not making sense. So, we're going to have to improve on those for sure. All right. Streets and roads. It's starting to be, like, more realistic in terms of, like how it is like it's starting to match reality mode more streets and roads are like connecting much much better oh my god i love the animals and i love building among the trees this is gorgeous like as much as the graphics in 3d don't match the um graphics in um simcity 3000 that game will still be beautiful and colorful for me I'm still liking all the other advancements that they gave. Like, this is amazing. All right, we still need a lot of residential, so let's go heavy. Let's go heavy on the residential. Let's zoom out, and let's give a big, nice chunk here and see how it does. Oh, man, there we go. That's it, that's the spot. Okay. All right, wow. Let's go ahead and build here too. Oh, no, no, we don't want to demolish existing development. And yes, okay. All right, so we didn't run into the problem of minimum um, um, zoning. So that's good. But now we're going to have an issue with, um, with definitely with um, water. Yeah, water is not going to be reaching. I wonder if, does zoning spread water in this game? Let's see. Ah, it tells you. Now you don't need to switch right away to um, to build your pipes. Okay, but we still have to do it anyway. Now that we have two water towers, our water demands are going to be pretty good. Let's go ahead and build to the next. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's make some connections. All right, maybe we can export some water if we're doing good. We'll see. And it looks like sanitation systems are already available. Yeah, this game starts you from a much more modern era. So it really is a sequel. It really is a sequel, I'm glad. We don't have to like reinvent everything. Okay, so I remember the landfills, not encouraged because they created those acid storms. And I'm wondering if those acid storms or acid clouds like um, exist in this game as well. All right, recycling centers are still expensive and waste to energy plant. Oh dear, incinerates garbage to produce power also produces heavy pollution. You have to put that really far, but that's beautiful. But unfortunately, it's very expensive. I think the recycling center is good. And one recycling center is going to definitely impact the environment, but it looks like our environment polling is pretty good. Also, I love that it's now city opinion polling and not really like um, um, direct measurements. Let's go ahead and build a bus stop in those lost areas. Um, Oh, God, the soundtrack is beautiful. God, I love this. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and build another bus stop. Do we have anything? Nope, not yet. It's it's a bus stop, so we're going to go ahead and do that. There we go. And there should be a road right next to it, so we're good. Let's go ahead and build another bus stop here. All right. Now that they have more bus stops, they should not complain about that. Residential is still growing. Wow. And... Wow, 600. Oh my god, we passed 600. Okay. Looks like our city still isn't big enough for those missions, but it's fine. 
It keeps saying that, but it's not gonna let me. Do I need to zoom in, maybe? Sims invite mayor to pull up a chair and settle in. Ah, now you have to pay for your mansion. Okay, it's not free like the last game. <laughs> it's not free like the last game, but... Oh, and there's upkeep now. There's a monthly cost. That's why the budget is so huge. Oh, boy. Okay, it's a lot more challenging now, isn't it? <laughs> we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and accept. So, what's a good spot for it? Um, how about here? Yeah, that should raise the land value. Yeah, land value is going up right now. And that's also why our residential zoning is in demand. I'm glad we're able to do high density residential. In the last game, we weren't able to like do it right off the bat, but in this game, it looks like we can. All right, let's go ahead. Okay. Nope. Those missions, I'm really excited to start those missions. They're like really, really cool and cute. Okay. Let's go ahead and build a road here. I love the construction. In other words, you get to see them build it. Like, it's no longer just instantly landed like in the last game. So they definitely got a lot of really good ideas for this game. Excuse me for a second. I shall be right back. returned thank you for your patience all right oh it looks like for roads this time unlike the last game you have to figure out your connections and do them manually so you have to click and drag in order to get your connections done right but that does clarify your intentions it doesn't guess for you so it does not estimate your um connections you have to make them yourself okay looking good all right Looks like residential is still in demand. We, um, I think we should do our first school. Let's go ahead and build our first school. Ooh, it looks like there's a spot here that is missing a connection. Do we do a bus stop? What is this spot? Let's go ahead and query it and see what this is. Oh, is it the bus stop that can't do it? Ah, okay. Okay, so we need to build a road that connects to the bus stop. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry about that. Oof. This means that we technically went through a business. Ooh. That is not going to impress the commercial sector. Speaking of which, we need to, um... We need to take a look at, um... Our, um, our income. Our income and expenditure. You guys remember that? That was a major part of the last game. And every SimCity game. Let's go ahead and do that. Which button does it? Building style control? Let's see. Data views? Advisor panel. Oh, wow. Those are our advisors. I love it. But I like the polls. I like the polls a lot. Graphs? Oh, my God. That's beautiful. It shows your rating. Budget panel. There it is. All right. Our monthly income is less than our monthly expenses, so we got to fix that. Yeah, we went too hard, didn't we? Okay. How do we... Um, there it is. You just click on it. Okay. Obviously, yeah, our zoning is definitely what's going to bring in more income. Let's check it. Oh, my God. That is high taxes. Okay. I got to decrease this. We got to we gotta encourage... Um, we got to encourage um, growth. I know that we're running uh, we're running a deficit right now. Well, not a deficit. We're running a um, we're running a uh, how is it? How should I put it? We're running um, I guess a negative um, income situation right now. But we got to encourage these sectors. So from here on out, I'm going to gradually decrease taxes as I grow the city. It's going to be my goal. These taxes are ridiculous. Like the last game. The average taxes was 7%, and as Patrick uh, commented, I managed to, um, like, um, break even, lowering taxes to, like, 1% and 0% for some sectors. 
So we gotta do that here. We gotta we gotta be serious about encouraging um, um, growth. Okay, by lowering our taxes. And you know me, I do not like taxes. Not just in real life, but also in game as well. I don't think my citizens want high taxes. Also, it looks like now you can control a little bit more of who pays which taxes. So, wow. Yeah, eventually we're going to raise taxes on some sectors more than others. But let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we lowered our income a little bit. Now let's go ahead and check our, um, our, our um, uh, budget. Okay. Our expenditures. Okay, police department needs to definitely take a cut. Fire department, I'm gonna keep it as is. Red Lives Matter, you know me. Okay, so health, yeah. Looks like health is a little bit overexpended, over, um, overspent. So let's go ahead and lower that a little bit. Okay, city ordinances and neighbor deals. We don't have any neighbor deals yet. Oh, we can start a deal. Yeah, we can sell water. All right. Okay. It looks like we can actually um, negotiate deals on our own now. That's awesome. That should generate some income for us. Okay. So neighbor deals, but they have to accept. Like, they have to actually accept. And it's not that much of a difference, too. City ordinances. You guys remember me with the gambling. <laughs> Ooh, that's going to bring us a lot of income. I think it's going to start from the next fiscal year. So it's not going to be this year. We got to wait a little bit. All right, uh, government budget. Oh, the mayor's house. All right, I can lower my own budget. Okay, cool. I am not taking out a loan. I have not taken it out in the last game, and I'm not. I'm gonna do my best not to take one out this game. We have a pretty solid budget. We gotta, we gotta build on what we have. We have the tools. We definitely have the tools. Oh, sorry, monthly expenses. I was looking at the wrong section. Neighbor deals are up here. Yes. All right, business deals. Right now, no deals yet. Transportation department. Oh, okay, so we have not initiated any tolls. I think that's in the ordinances. I think we can lower a little bit of our services somewhat. And yeah, okay. Flocks of dogs buy to treat limited patients. Dramatically reduce the health budget. Yes, that's what I thought as well. All right, yeah, it looks like we're still spending too much on health. All right, well, let's go ahead and minimize those a little bit. Yeah, okay, our income is increasing. Um, do we have any other ordinances? No, nothing yet. Okay. And they're demanding jails, so we might as well build a jail in another direction from the city. All right, our town is now growing slowly into a city. Let's go ahead and build a way. And it looks like our power needs are met by those windmills. I love it. Those windmills are doing amazing. Okay. And it looks like we have to be careful in terms of uh, maintenance. Okay, how about... Let's go ahead here. We're going to need electricity, of course, and everything. I think we can definitely start doing industrial around the jail. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and... Okay, we did the police station, a kiosk. Uh, city jail. Ooh. And the monthly cost is expensive. Alright. They're probably going to need water and electricity. Let's go ahead and start zoning a little bit. Let's do some agricultural zoning in this area. I don't think they might. Okay. Actually, high density industrial might work. Let's do medium density first. Let's not take any chances. Alright. Yeah, I always thought that industrial is a good way to mitigate the effects of certain infrastructure like jails and stuff. Ooh, our monthly expenses went up. Let's see what happened. Where is our increase? Ah, it's the jail. Oh my god. Alright, decrease it, decrease it significantly. Yeah, we should not be spending that much. What else are we spending that much on? Oh, man. Um... All right, maybe a tiny cut, okay. We gotta make ends meet. We're like 300 short, so. Uh, let's see. School buses, nothing yet. Ambulances can probably, yeah, all of these can take a cut. Okay, we're starting to make ends meet a little bit. 
slightly. We're like off by like, I want to say 250. A little bit over 250, which is good. That's that's not too bad. Considering our budget, we're gonna we're gonna break even soon. It's not an issue. Now we need to start scaling. We need to start we need to start building. Let's go back to the poles. Okay, didn't we build a school? No, it looks like we didn't build a school yet, did we? Let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Elementary school. Okay, let's start with that first. There we go. And let's continue zoning residential. Let's go ahead with the heavy residential. There we go. Electricity still doing good. Oops. All right. It seems the game sucks money out of you using different ways. Interesting. Very interesting. We got one-way roads, roads. Hmm, not much of a difference here. Avenues are much more expensive, but they're they're like two-way streets, and streets are much cheaper, which is basically what comes with the zoning automatically. All right. Got to be careful with um, those connections. Okay, so it looks like we're overspending on education. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Maybe we should pay attention to our budget more than the city pools. Let's go back to budget panel. There we go. Ooh, it went up sharply. Yeah, that's definitely our um, our school. That's our elementary school. Is this our first year? Oh my god, we finished our first year. Fireworks, everybody! We got our first fireworks! Yay! Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Alright. Okay. It looks like streets are getting endangered. We need more streets, basically. It looks like our bus stops are doing good. Yeah, we need to scale. Yeah, we need to scale big time. Let's do some more high-density residential and start connecting some water. All right, more people want to come in. We just passed our first thousand, everybody. Congratulations, everyone. First thousand um, population. We did great. Good job, everyone. All right. Let's see how this is going to go. So we're going to need more water, obviously. And clearly, let's see, what are they looking for? Yes, we just passed a thousand. House of Worship, oh, absolutely. I think that raises the, um, the land value. Let's go ahead. We didn't have that last game. Awesome, all right. Non-denominational House of Worship, I love it. Road Vehicle Training Mission, all right. We take a break from building, everybody, to experience one of the new features in SimCity 4. Road missions! This mission allows you to become familiar with basic car controls. If you forget the controls, look at the status window. Okay, so now we get to drive through our own city. We're big enough now. All right. You go faster, slower, left, right. Okay, cool. Space, honk horn. Oh, my God. Shift. Snaps to roads on and off. And exit driving mode. Okay, let's give it a shot. All right, I hope it gets, okay, so we're gonna be testing if we can get from point A to point B and put our own road system, our own transportation system to the test. Everybody ready? All right, fasten your seat belts, everyone. We're going on a ride. Okay. Whoa, okay. Oh my God, okay, it's saying, Oh no! I'm hitting my own cars! <laughs> Alright. Please tell me I have a connection. Don't run the people over. Oh. Okay. I am just speeding at this point. Alright. Is there a way we can actually see where we want to go? Mmm. Okay. Alright. Uh, it looks like we might be failing our first mission, which is fine. But if you guys noticed... The Sims icon is here. It's the Sims crystal. Everybody remembers the Sims, right? <laughs> oh, maybe we will make it. Let's see. Okay, okay. Ah! No! Where did you come from? It just popped up there. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> 
it's just that I tried to get somewhere. Also, where's your name? I don't even know who you are. No! <laughs> Ouch. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. We're allowed to drive, like, in our own city, but we gotta really take care of this budget. Okay. It looks like this may have been the spot that we wanted. It's a nice break. We can take a break from building by doing this. So, but let's focus on making, um, let's go ahead and focus on making, um, our city grow. Making that budget. All right. Let's go ahead and expand our water system. Our water network. Welcome to the channel. I see new viewers. Thank you guys for coming in. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Okay, I think we built down here. Let's see. Ooh, we're missing power to the jail. Okay. Um, I was going to just simply keep building industrial. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go ahead with the industrial. High density industrial. Let's see how much that costs us. Okay. All right. Yep, that was a decent penny. Oh, it's letting me build thin strips of heavy industrial. Okay. Thank you for that. All right, now the electricity is connected. I think over here we can go for residential. Let's go ahead and do that. It looks like this game, we're going to have to build and zone a lot in order to um, make ends meet. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to continue lowering taxes to encourage people to come in. But it's definitely going to run us dry. That's a fact. Let's go ahead and lower it one more percent doesn't look like our cuts are going to be that much but it does seem like our city depends a lot on low wealth residential so it looks like oh my god this is this is by wealth bracket this is by income bracket okay i did not know that i thought for a second this was related to the type of zones we were using but it's not okay let's go ahead and continue lowering our taxes gradually we want to be able to build the city with as little taxes as possible and more deals. Yeah, we can lower our taxes significantly here. Okay. Nobody hates low taxes. Also, I hope you guys can hear the soundtrack. This is amazing. I love this. I just hope there's no echo, basically. Okay. It doesn't look like we have any high tech yet. All right, this is our new budget for the year. And they accepted it. Welcome to the channel, everybody. I do appreciate you guys coming in. I'm seeing more viewers and I super appreciate that. Okay. My favorite part of the soundtrack. It's so peaceful. Okay, we're still running a net loss, so let's continue focusing. Can we increase our, no, not yet. But I'm glad that we can initiate our own deals. That's good. That's good. All right. Need to keep zoning more. Let's add some water. Definitely the water. Yeah. It's definitely the water. Looks like industrial is doing okay without water, but water definitely helps. Wave the low tax wand to see Sims respond. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh! Oh, uh, he's saying race taxes. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm a fan of lowering taxes for my city. <sighs> Who is it? Like, I would probably raise taxes on higher income brackets. That's it. But that's not going to encourage more of them to come over, though. So, I'm a little bit conflicted here. I'm sorry, but... This is a handicap I really want to, um... Oh, looks like... Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and increase it. Hold on a second. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay. New power plant. Okay. All right. We can just increase our windmill. Understandable. All right. So it basically dockpiles you with all the complaints. Got it. All right. So we have the budgetary problems. Oh, our income is... Bl there it is! There it is! What did I tell you? Oh my god. Alright, we're about to break even, everybody. Get ready. There it is. 
Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and mess with um, health and education. Let's go ahead and start raising it up a little bit. And the ambulances. Okay. Alright. That should help a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Our city is scaling really good now. But now we need the commercial sector. Let's go ahead and go high density commercial and see how that goes. Any underdeveloped areas I'm going to replace. That's going to be my rule now. Let's see how that goes. Okay. I need more commercial. Oh! All right. Looks like we have a power shortage. Let's go ahead and add more windmills. I'm really happy windmills are available right off the bat. All right. Let's see how our power goes. What is this? This is... It doesn't really tell me. Is this the speed of the game or something else? We just broke 2,000. Oh my god. Grave need. The House of Worship has made a fine addition. And I'm sure I've developed a keen sense of the hereafter. Oh! They're asking for a cemetery and it's free. Okay, yeah. But we're going to probably put it where the jail is. Uh, wow! Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. I guess flattery will take you far with me. <laughs> okay, looks like our electric um, shortage is decreasing, but we still need electricity. All right. Okay. Um... Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can, um, let's go ahead and see if we can add more windmills. Let's go ahead and add one more windmill, and hopefully that takes care of it. Okay. Our city is growing, and we're about to break even. Our income is almost catching up with our expenditure. Alright, we got a nice corner here that I would really like to develop, so let's see. What do we need? Residential. Still high. Okay. Good. I think with this more recent expansion, we should be doing good on... Nope. We should be doing good on population. Okay. Alright. Let's see if we can go for one push. This one looks good. Alright. And... There it is. Really loving these streets that auto build. Alright, now we're gonna need to um, worry about the water again. Yes, we're lacking water. Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of that. I'm loving how quickly this game updates its um, status. Ooh, okay. Fire stations, right. Yeah, it looks like our coverage is not meeting demand. That's fine. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, our connection to the Okay. Yeah, this game is very iffy when it comes to connections. Like, you gotta spell it out for it. But it's good because in the last game, it guessed it and it took up a lot of unnecessary space. Okay, we just broke 3,000, everybody. That's great. We're doing really good. Okay. I wonder if we should go faster in order to... Um, in order to get more people coming in. Hmm. Our city's growing really fast. Oh my god. Wow, 3,500 almost. Yep, we're about to break even. So let's go ahead and lower taxes some more. Let's encourage more. I'm going to lower it on low residential, low income. Yeah, low wealth. I'm going to really lower it on that. So I think I need to lower it on that. Ooh, dirty industry. Hmm. I kind of want to discourage dirty industry. I want to encourage high tech. So yeah, adding a tax on dirty industry is how we got high tech in the last game. I remember manufacturing industry, yeah. Okay, so it looks like in terms of these taxes, I'm going to use a more adaptive approach where each bracket is going to get a different um, um, like tax break or tax increase. Okay, so 
I think in the commercial sector, lowering it for everybody would work. Or most brackets, really. But there are some brackets that are not really like here yet. So. Also, it's divided into office and service. Wow. Really intricate. I'm really loving this. They've definitely become more intricate with their um, zoning. All right, we're like a hundred away. A little bit more and we'll be able to break even. Just one more push. All right, how's our water doing? Why is this sector not building? I think in this area we can definitely continue um, zoning industrial. Let's go ahead with the industrial. Okay, I can understand. Oh, okay. oh, it's building. All right. Where's our water? Let's do, do a quick review of our water and see. Hmm, okay. Yes. Bigger schools, a solution for big crowding problems. Yeah, but they're expensive. I'm gonna decline on this one. I'm gonna decline on this one. They're expensive. They can drain us pretty fast. We're gonna continue building smaller schools first and really like raise the population. Oh, our income just broke. We just broke even, everybody. Congratulations. All right. It looks like our tax um, policy is working. People are coming to us because of the lowering taxes. I love how they trick you, but we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty aware of our policies from the last game. Low taxes. It's, it's, it's the way to go. Okay. I think we're going to need more roads. Streets are not always reliable, so... Roads are definitely the way to go if you want to guarantee your transportation. All right, looks like our um, income is finally growing. We're going to raise our income decently, and then we're going to raise our budget with our income, okay? So let's keep scaling. We just broke 4,000. Oh, all right, we got some brownouts happening, so it looks like, okay, it's time to build our first power plant. Our windmills are not going to cut it. Our city's growing too big. So we're going to need to um, build our power plant now. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, one second, please. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Where's our electricity? There we go. Sorry about that. All right. Oof. Yes. Yes. I, I got you. I got you. I think we should pause here. Okay. Yes. Don't worry. All right. We're pausing for that. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can change the funding for it. Let's go ahead and increase the funding for education. Now that we have a uh, surplus. Uh, yeah. Now that we have positive income go ahead and yeah let's go ahead and slowly bring back our um expenditures okay so maybe our health okay we're gonna use a matched um basically a uh, balanced budget policy okay in terms of pollution hmm. oil gas coal I think in terms of our city, 3,000 megawatts is good. Let's go ahead, megawatt hours per month. All right, yep, they definitely made it more realistic. We're gonna need room for our wind farm. So we're gonna build this a little bit closer, lower ground, okay? We're gonna put it maybe here, there we go. Now, okay, and let's continue increasing our wind farm. Wind farm should definitely be working on a height. Yeah, we're gonna gradually do that. Okay, this should take care of our electricity problem. Yep, we're doing good. Okay, now we can safely zone this area. Let's go ahead and supply some water. Or, you know what? To save time, ooh, our expenses exploded. What exploded our expenses? Oh, utilities. Yeah, okay, so it is because of the power. Damn. Okay. Um, we don't have any sanitation yet, so. Okay, this is more realistic. Uh-oh. Is it our power again? 
I don't know if it's our budget or something else. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep zoning. Alright, what are we in the need of? Okay, it looks like commercial is now big. Let's go ahead and build a commercial city. Oops. Okay, funding for our clinics. Sure. I'll raise it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright. Okay. Landfill. Okay, yeah, we can build that away. Yes. All right. All right. Uh, no, not yet. No, 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 no. Budget-wise, we're in danger. All right, let's go ahead and meet our commercial um, needs. Okay. Ooh, nice soundtrack. I built this. Ooh, I think I built this near the jail. I don't know if the commercial sector is going to like that, but let's go ahead and switch to the industrial sector. All right, let's go ahead with high density industrial. Okay, there we go. And, okay, looks like we got some action coming in. We're gonna lower our taxes for commercial. not really making too much of a difference, so lowering the taxes on them is pretty good. Let's see if lowering taxes on higher brackets is going to bring in more business. Yeah, tax cuts for you? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go ahead and raise taxes on nerdy industry. It's probably not going to help develop it, but uh, manufacturing, I can lower it here. Definitely lower agriculture. I will be a friend to the farms. Friend to the farmer. Okay. Okay. Balanced budget, baby. We're doing good. Balanced budget. So far, we've spent a hundred, a little bit over a hundred thousand. Okay. Let's just keep zoning. Ooh, we're not getting water in some areas. Let's go ahead and fix the water issue. I really need to start selling a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Because of our budgeting. Um, water is limited now. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and raise the utilities budget on power. Oof, no, that's too big. Alright. And on water. Let's go ahead. Yeah, water looks to be a little bit more acceptable. Okay, there we go. Hmm. I don't know if we need more piping for water or not. We're good. We're good. Okay. Our water needs are still being met. And we have more income. All right. So this should disappear. Do we not have water there? We have water there. What's going on with you? How do you not have water? It's so confusing. All right. Residential is back up again. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue with the residential. I do feel like maybe commercial, we may have... Yeah, we may need to do low commercial to see how that builds. I think those build a lot faster. Let's, yes, definitely. Okay, it's starting to work. Let's go ahead with... Oh, residential is gone. Okay. Looks like industrial is the way to go. Okay, okay. Commercial sector is... Oh, yeah, it looks like we met our commercial sector. So let's go ahead and replace the remaining part with um, industrial. All right. Let's see how that figures. It's probably going to be the taxes that are going to be an issue, but I feel like in terms of industrial, the demand is high because they want to actually be able to, um, you know, land. Like these factories and companies want to be able to come over. So even with the high taxes, yeah, they definitely want to penetrate the market. Ooh, there's a strike. Either build another clinic or raise funding. All right, now that our budget is doing good, I think we can, again, go back to our balanced budget and increase it a little bit gradually. Okay, we have some money we can afford. There we go. All right, we're still balanced, so that's good. That's good. All right. We have, we're 6,000, oh my God. We went up to 7,400. Let's go ahead and lower our taxes a little bit. Yeah, 
This will affect us for sure. Industrial seems to be doing good. Demand on industrial is still high. Oh, now we can see it by more specific. Okay, so this is residential low income is needed and industrial agriculture is needed. Okay, let's go ahead with agriculture now that we have that clear distinction. Hmm, I don't want to replace. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I don't think they need water. I just realized that. Okay, that was pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Let's go ahead and see about um, fire department coverage. Where is... Where's the fire department? Oops. Power funding. Oh. oh okay. We're going to need to... Um, raise our, yeah, brownouts are happening, but in terms of, let's see, in terms of our budgeting, oh, water building to offer high volume solution, oh no, oh no, 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 not yet, hmm, I mean, we could sell the water, it looks like we can definitely Oh, our environment is doing bad. Okay, that's going to affect our population. And we need roads. Okay, definitely more roads. You got it. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Okay, we got brownouts and we got water shortages. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Um... should help a little bit. A new house. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Our city's getting really, really, like, religious. Local road reaches limit. The chaos of cars. Okay. Okay. This one? Huh. Interesting. Okay. I guess it's the first thing you see when you enter our city. Looks like residential and industrial are still growing, so it's probably going to be the agricultural. Okay, let's go ahead and build that um, house of worship again. It's giving me Age of Empire vibes, if you guys remember. Oh man, still a problem. Okay, we'll get to you in a second. All right, looks like a good spot to build here. Let's go ahead and see, what was it? Something here was available. Was it this one? Yeah. Okay. Anything else that's available that we need to build as a gift? Nope, but it does spoil to you all the gifts that are available in the game. Interesting. All right. Okay. We're about to hit 9,000 people. That's very good. Let's go ahead and check our budget. Oh, yeah. We broke even, so we can... I think we can take care of our water problem. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it's the capacity, isn't it? Okay, now I understand. We're at capacity for water. I get it. We should probably just connect it to a new water tower. Let's go ahead and do that. What do we got? Water tower, water pump, water source, aquifer. Okay, we do not need... Okay. It looks like we don't need... Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and connect it to our network. So that way. Oh, nice. Now we have diagonal connections. Interesting. All right. This should definitely help us out. Ooh, but it did raise our expenses. Let's go ahead and lower that a little bit. Where's the water department? Yeah. Okay. We have to be very careful and scale everything here so we don't, like, 
lose our money permanently. If you play this game carelessly, just like the last one, you will end up, um, oh, okay. Yeah, you will end up running out of money and needing to take out loans, which is bad. We don't want to run deficits. Okay. There is no such thing as deficit spending in any of these games, whether it's real-time strategy or, um, or, um, sim games. Okay. Let's see. Alright. Oh! Alright, looks like our power problem is back. But we just broke 11,000. Okay, for our taxes, we can lower a little bit and increase here. Hmm. There we go. Let me do some minor adjustments. Okay. Yeah, we, can, we get most of our money from the industrial sector, believe it or not. I do not want to get most of our money from... be able to continue reducing taxes as much as possible to encourage these sectors. Okay. Okay. Alright. Bring in the manufacturing jobs. Okay, can we actually, um... Can we increase our... No, doesn't look like it yet. Business deals, nothing yet. Oh man. Okay. Let's go ahead and. Oof. Okay. Yeah, we're having issues. Let's go ahead and build a little bit more windmills. Let's see how that goes. Will that meet our demand? Because it's not like. It, right now, those are brownouts. It's basically conditional shortages in, in power. It does increase our expenditure a little bit not as crazy as a power plant. So, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. But wow, 11,000 people. We gotta keep scaling. All right, looks like residential is back in demand. Residential is back on the menu, so let's keep doing it. I'm starting to think heavy residential means lower income. Could that mean that lighter residential is more expensive? I mean, is more higher income brackets? We shall see. But we do need water. Let's go ahead and see. Do we have water shortages here? No? Okay. Okay. Yeah, this game basically makes you spend more on everything. Oof. Like, any, um... Any growth you do, you have to have a lot of maintenance for it. Hmm. I think, I think I can go for half an hour more for calling it a day. How does that sound, everybody? 30 more minutes? You guys think you can handle that? Should be doing good. Okay. Oh, our income jumped up. Okay, that's... It, 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 it looks like our tax policy is working. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue expanding. It looks like... Oh, wow. There is a lot of moving in happening. To our city. But the brownouts will continue sadly, so let's go ahead and build more wind. This is my safest way of doing this. Without overspending too much. Alright, balance budget, balance budget. Now we need some water.